when you have diabetes, one of the biggest area is to look after your feet. And the Ministry of Health is working hard in that area, that we examine the feet of everyone who has uh, diabetes. Now on the flip side, why there is a lot of amputation is they do not control their diabetes and they come in late. Many of the diabetic amputees we find didn't even know they had diabetes. Eh? So one day they go to hospital, they get cut. By the time they reach us, to save them, we have to cut, we have to amputate the feet. And when they get cut, it's a shock to the system that they have become disabled. It's a shock to the system that they have lost a limb. Once you go to the hospital, get screened if you know you have diabetes. Simple things. When you wake up in the morning, normally we look at our eyes. We are saying for diabetes, when you wake up in the morning, look at your feet and get your feet sorted. That every clinic you go to, we have to check your feet, number one. But some still fall through. Rundurkawano, our attack in an Avangu, our Manishani Lahu even in Bula, new Sengikila and Satovio Tukunamatin. As one of the owners, Messalo Lome and Unguitoku near Bang. Moe, what your son they coat even in Bula. Nungu other than even in Bula or to Satuna Vunu and Satovio Tunamatin. What is some money Musuki in an Avangu? Amila Milangana, Nungu Taukule Buniava. Sanga Ivaka Bubu Zamai. You send Kilani Nabubu Zaya as a Zasarangame and I bang. Twenty four Mother Kerahata made up diabetes Pacal Lissera. Two thousand sixteen Mamma Gore Card Kisse. Tin Salam will chaper it, Tin Salsi will chaper. Nabanua. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody lay muskin and avangu and a rugutanga in the room. We say in the NCT space there is no, uh, the causes are known, but there are risk factors or risk behaviors that are associated with the, with the disease. In Fiji, we talk about seven risk behaviors eh, that are associated with NCD. Now, with NCD, we talk about blood chemistry. Yeah, so we say these behaviors. They deal with chemicals which uh, affect the chemicals of the body. Chemicals of the body which are uh, the most familiar ones are blood sugar, blood glucose, uh, blood pressure, uh, anemia, blood hemoglobin. These are the chemicals that need to be balanced in the body. And the theory behind it is if you have a normal chemistry, you shouldn't be sick. Na mai teke bo veya una matengo au asenga ni nama kabagandua mana ruana undolo tini karua au asakila arato usatu kuna veya una buniwai nioya usatu veya uti kona mateni suka ungai tu kuno ya usenga senga bagandua palte seni ndua na nito bubale teke bo mena nongo fa fathers me azobia u seni ndua yeta ubi mateni suka senga bagandua seni bo kamba uta ya 2012 2015 Uti a sanga i rei di saranga veya u, a mila mila nga na nungu tau kukule buniaba, mila mila nga au mila, mila 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 sanga i vaka e bubu zamai, bubu zamai na kani mila mila, yau seni kila ni na bubu zaya e sa zasa saranga mai na yabangu, 
Λούστα λίπα λιμπούλα, να καλέει του κουνιπέα, ο νέα πάμος, αδάσαν τον τόνο άμεσα μους. Αν καίτανε, ο συνταλήτα κασράν από αντούα. Ο συνήπινα κατά, ο συνήπινα μέσα λίπα λίπα λίπα, σαν πόη του μάντα να λίπα λίπα, νησα μαβουα του. Ο τσιά ο λίστα λίπα λίπα, ο νούσα συνήπος ο τάραβα να μόση, ο τα κενά κενά ημποή, ο σαν να νομιρωτώ να να βουβάλε, ο σαν να μην β Nah, orang sekarang memilih mama dan memilih bina kaki naya bangku ya, tiga buta lini karua. Oh, sekarang rawat sekarang, aku orang rawat tak sekarang na matengko. Sangat kasih bagi cikgu mana radio na na matengko na mateni kan apa kau Italia? Iki aku salah malu mu, aku salah bagi nanti nata kan nyoya wendu ananda ukan tu bagi Italia. Akang aku mau ya ukan ya, kebawa enam bongi memata kan aku kan, aku kan angan nunggu nda u bina kata tu nak kana. Eating is a sign of life to us, uh, to all of us doctors, eating is a sign of life. So you need to eat to live, and uh, very important. But the issue in Fiji is that, yes, we need to eat to live, but it's the menu that we are eating that has changed. We have changed from processed foods, and the latest study that we've done have shown that we have shifting to the, to the supermarket foods or the processed foods. You know how when we're running around normal and all of a sudden a situation changes for us. It's very important that the family members pause and think what is the person going through right now and how can we help them. Emotionally losing a limb because you always feel that the limb is still there. It's a big shock. Uh, understanding the dietary needs and changing their dietary needs because we find that once they're amputated their sugar levels are still very high. Uh, and they are no longer in a position to demand food that is relevant to them. So it's important that the family members understand and work around improving the health of that person, both emotional health, the physical health and the mental health. Wah saya tu nak lihat, usang kebisa utang nak kena kaka na, usang kekan yang nak kaki dengan itu ya seni bali. Waktu lagi kan, anak nunggu bulan binaka, kau kau binaka ni yang nunggu, aku rawat anak kata tu kau wasa mai jalan tu, zuki zuki, were were, arah tu kita tinggal anak nunggu bulan bali. Anda orang anak nunggu were were, me tina kalau kau me azawan dua se, mina unek kata kata kena sina. Ya, wak binaka binaka tak kaya, exercise, anda tak kaba. Tahun bala pun nunggu ngau natu ni laku i laurai balik nimbula, mana bina nabula. Ia u wakap bina bina kata kapi rata na friends ni rata tahu dulu malu atau mana malu aya. Tahu itu gaya arwah na mada wa, artung gaya tahu yang domai. Ia tahu marra u naya longgu, mana nunggu sah mati nunggu bantu bantu lebih ani di balik nimbul. Artung laku tu mai lo maya, metau rin nunggu pressure, tau rin nunggu suka, tau exercise taki. Na, na, bagus salah tahu dulu ni kakak na, na, bila tahu dulu mukan dia, mahu bagus tambu ya, erto talinga nunggu betam erto toko ni, ya bagus lebu mainan erto untuk ngulai mana friends, sah lebu nak kakak ni kita sah bagus tambu serta erto ngai lo mani nunggu bual, ya mana nurutu betu toko ni, kau kau nunggu betamal, macam tu nak erto tu guna tu bea. Nirtu toko na bagali bu nirtu ntau lau mena friends kena nunggu bulan baleta nirtu maru tak kan nirtu ready nirtu nanti kau nunggu bulan bulan binaka ka kita maru tak kati kau nirtu bulan nabi ngau natau dok. Under this program, we've also been training family members on how to look after these people. We've been running a caregiving course in partnership with University of the South Pacific, so that community people in the communities know how to do better care. When we take physiotherapy services to these people, uh, the, the, the people who will have, are living with disabilities, we train their family members around them. And we give them basic information on how they can be exercised. To prevent diabetes, you have to control the sugar and look after your feet. Now, for those who are, have been amputated, that's not the end of the world. You still have to move on in life. Eh? The end of our world will come when your heart stops. So even with amputation, you can still live long. And one thing I like about friends is they come and help them.
and mobilize them, do the simple things. Go to the bathroom, go to the toilet. That means there needs to be a change in the way the home is built so that the Fijian can mobilize himself or in the house and do some food gardening. We've done some of that before, where we have encouraged amputees to plant uh, home gardens where they could eat it and also sell when uh, they have plenty. So my job as a physiotherapist, part of the physiotherapy team here at uh, Friend, we go out into the community, we go and do home visits for people uh, living with uh, non-communicable diseases or disabilities caused by non-communicable diseases that have been discharged from the hospital and uh, currently at home. Uh, so far, out of the 60 patients that we were seeing, most of them were um, chronic patients, meaning that they were that they were being discharged from the hospital and they've been at home for more than two or three years. We found that uh, most of them are just left on their own. They are crawling around and there's no one to, to attend to them. Oh, yeah, we live on the Ungasike Tumba, Taudi Uda, Singa Nakata. It's a reality in the communities but somebody has to, to do something to look after them. So with that, we work with these uh, village health nurses, the Turani Koros, um, to ensure that we lift the standard of uh, living that uh, they are in. We worked with 60 people and, and gave them some mobility aid, but we realized that they needed more than just mobility aid. So we developed this program where we've hired physiotherapists and medical officers to go into the communities where they get examined because we discovered that some people when they get disabled either by stroke or um, amputation they have been bedridden for years and they don't go back to the clinic so we wanted the doctors to first of all assess them then we very uh, grateful that we have a physiotherapist with masters uh, from Japan, a volunteer, who has worked with the local physiotherapist to assess these people. And over the years, we've seen marked improvement in the mobility. And for that shows, if we think about these people living with disabilities, very small interventions or very low cost interventions actually can uh, improve their lives, the quality of their lives. And that's crucial because you cannot have a person bedridden for the next 20-30 years vegetating. If there is a message that I give to Fiji, you need to go back to the farm and eat organic, number one, because every Fijian is living on land. There must be some, something on the, the land that we are living on. We need to promote that one. But at the same time, we need to talk about the processed foods that Fijians have moved into and how we can learn more. To eat from that, eh? So we need to pause to think what are we eating? Uh, are we eating the good food that's around us? If we're eating the roro and the seijan and the boiled fish instead of over frying everything, we probably will not get into this disease phase and we need to pause now to change the tide around. We've seen six months intervention, eight months intervention by a physiotherapist has mobilized these people. They can go back to their gardening, they can go back to fishing, they can you know get their life normal. And I think many more agencies need to get into this to, one, uplift the people who are in the, in the bad space right now, to work towards preventing it. And I think it's beyond urgent action time. If we were declared in crisis in 2011, this is 2019, where is the crisis and the way we are reacting to this disease and the way we... So this was an our attempt also to show people that that three people being amputated a day is not a statistic. It is human beings living in our own communities suffering right now. And you and I can make a lot of difference.